Hi folks, uh, I got a Sony KDL-46 S2010 Complaint is uh, sound no picture Okay, I'm just going to switch on the TV now Relay clicks Standby light is on And as you can see, when I press that there to discoloration, you can tell that the uh, backlights are up and working. Let me just turn down the lights a bit. Maybe that will show better. As you can see there, backlights are working. So what we can say about that is um, there's no problem with the backlights or the actual inverter PCB itself. Um, I've got to check now on the video information to the screen. I will start by checking the output of the uh, the main board to the uh, the uh, uh, TCON board or control board on the screen. I'll just have to reposition the TV for that. I'm going to start uh, by checking my uh, video here at the top of this LVDS cable. I'm going to remove this screening can from around the TCON control board. Uh, it's just easier to do this than take off all this. Um, I'm just going to uh, get a few bit, uh, tools. Move this cable out of the way. And then we have a tab here. Okay, and put out your tape to the screen at the top. And then we move the four screws one, two, three, four. The screen on this is a type is an LTY 460 WS L04. Um, you would get the screen in other makes and models like a Sony, Samsung, even Philips in odd time. Put in the push in the two things at each side of the cable and that will come out of the way. Okay, I'm just going to put the board back in temporarily so we can do a few tests with the screen and uh, can out of the way. I just put two screws to hold it in place, just to work it for ground. Don't forget. Okay, we have two in. Just going to connect the cables. slides in from the top. Be careful you don't bend or break this cable because if you do your screen is gone. Uh, be, be on economic repair. You can't replace these uh, cables. Okay, that's that. It. Okay, I got my oscilloscope out. Um, I got my uh, test leads uh, uh, connected up and the place where I'm going to test for um, 
a, a video waveform is on them little spots here. Yeah. Okay. And by pressing the menu button, I change the video information going to the screen. So there should be a change of waveform. What I'm seeing um, on my Civic scope is a change of waveform. I'll show you that now in one second. I reposition the camera. But that's where I test right at that particular spot there. That tells me the video information is getting from the signal board to this TCON control board. So the problem is on this T control board. Okay, I got the scope set up in view, and I'm just going to put my probe on the LVDS signal. As you can see, it's there. Now you see the signal change when I press the menu button. So we have a problem with our TCON board. Next thing we're going to have to check is voltage. Next thing we're going to check for voltage. And what I see here is a fuse. Uh, circuit reference CP101P. We got 4.99 volts on the upper end, and we got 0.32 volts on the upper, uh, the lower end of it. So um, a fuse has gone open circuit. Um, I just get a fuse, I have a fuse here and a few scrap uh, control boards and I'm going to replace that and see what happens. I've replaced the uh, fuse, uh, have the uh, screen if I can back on, the, uh, all the cables back in place and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch on the unit, uh, just got the reposition TV. Okay, I got the uh, TV uh, turned around, signal into its skirt. I'm just going to plug in the unit now. Try to relay clicking. And there we are. We have a picture. We have sound. Yes, we have sound. So the fuse that was uh, open circuit on that T-Con board. I can never find a reason for uh, the uh, fuse to, to be gone. It could be because of heat, um, that it gets very hot and uh, that that's what causes that fuse to go open circuit. Um, um, I don't know. I, don't, I can't find a reason on the board. There's no shorts. Um, seems okay. So uh, thanks for watching.